Hello again, I'm Miss Clark and I'm going to be introducing option one of your shape project. So here's my example. For this project, you're gonna be working on non-objective or non-representational art. So art that doesn't have any recognizable things in it like trees or cars or buildings or anything like that, no people. It's just shapes, lines, and color. So in other words, abstract art. So for this project, you're actually gonna be using one specific artist as inspiration and his name is Kandinsky. Um, so I recommend that you look him up before you start. I also need you to watch the three videos that are linked below in the instructions. Those three videos are really gonna help you understand how Kandinsky made his art using music. Um, because you are also going to be listening to music for this assignment. So you actually need to go on YouTube and find music that is just instrumental. There's no words, there's no singing, um, the, because the singing or words can be really distracting for this. So you want something that's only the music. Um, once you find that, as you're listening to the music, you really want to think about what kinds of shapes you can draw that will fit with the music that you're listening to. So say you're listening to something that's pretty calming, it's very quiet, it's kind of soothing music. So maybe you think about adding organic shapes or circles, things that are nice and smooth around the edges. If it's a more upbeat or aggressive type of music, that's when you start thinking about adding in the geometric shapes, the harsher shapes, okay? Also, as you're drawing your shapes, make sure you're overlapping some of your shapes so it looks like one shape is covering the part of another shape. As you continue to listen to the music, once you've drawn all your shapes, that's when you want to start adding in the colors. So again, if your music is calming, maybe you will use cooler colors, so um, purples, greens, or blues. Um, if it's a more upbeat, Maybe you use yellows and oranges. If it's a more aggressive, maybe it's more reds. Also, as you are coloring, think about adding in some gradients into your um, shapes. So maybe the outside edges of some of your shapes are darker and the insides are lighter, or maybe it fades from one color to another. So maybe your triangle, this red triangle would have been red on the outside, but orange on, in the middle. Finally, as you're coloring the shapes that are overlapping, you want to really think about what colors are being used in the sh two shapes and what color you're going to put in the part that overlaps. So these circles are purple and blue and in the part that overlaps, I actually used both my purple and my blue colored pencil to make a blue violet um, because that's if they were partly transparent or translucent, that's what color they would make as they overlap. Same with these triangles up here, where this yellow triangle and this red triangle overlap, I used both my red and yellow colored pencil, which actually made orange. So as you're coloring, just make sure you really think about what colors would be mixing when they're overlapping. Just think about how you want it colored. You can do it however you want. It's very much up to you. Um, the last step that you're going to do is you're going to add the bold black lines. Um, those can be done however. They can just be a, after you're done, where do I want these bold black lines? Um, but when you're done, make sure you take a photo and submit it to your portfolio. Also, make sure you follow the instructions below. Watch the time lapse video um, to make sure you complete the project the way you're supposed to and you take your progress photo when you need to take your progress photo. Most importantly, have fun with this and good luck.